Hi guys, it's Barnaby outside the Vitality Stadium. We've just beaten Bournemouth 5-1. It's a joyous occasion. I can't think of any time in the last ever that we've gone to an away ground in the Premier League and turned them over 5-1 and so conclusively. It was very impressive. You know, starting at the start with a negative, we did lose a goal early doors and we did look a bit shaky and it did give us that feeling of is it going to be one of those classic games where, you know, we've had some momentum in the league, uh, we haven't lost since the opening day, but then in a game we should be winning, would we lose? But actually, they, after conceding that goal, there was just only one team in it. It was incredibly impressive and I'm going to take some time now to just talk about how amazed I am at how good Toby Alderweireld is because I don't think I've mentioned him enough. I know Harry Kane scored a hat-trick today but I can promise you guys an old Spurs team, a Spurs team without Alderweireld wouldn't have just conceded one in that game. There were chances, I think he cleared one off the line but also just the way he marshals it, the way he just you know, if the ball needs to be cleared, he clears it. If the ball needs to be headed out, he heads it out. And if he's got the time to take it down and give a pass out or play a crossfield ball, he'll do that as well. He's really got it all. I'm totally amazed. I said it to Ross, who I was sitting near when we were uh, watching the match. I don't know who uh, Atletico Madrid have got at centre-backs, but they must be incredibly good for them to be able to sell Toby Alderweire for just over 10 million quid. He's an incredible signing for us. He makes Jan Vertonghen better. He's made the whole unit better. He makes Danny Rose and, and Kyle Walker play better as well. I'm just so happy to have him there. Once again, I thought Eric Dyer was colossal in the centre midfield. And Deli Ali, who I think looked a bit tired, he started pushing on towards the end of the game, actually, and I thought his energy levels were unbelievable. Harry Kane, obviously, got to talk about him. He got his hat trick. His all round, his all round performance today was, oh, honestly, he's, he's a cut above sometimes. He got, uh, he got applause from the Bournemouth um, fans when he was substituted off because they were so impressed with his all-round game got his hat trick surely the press will stop talking about it now surely no one will be calling him a one season wonder anymore so that's a 5-1 win away we've got Aston Villa at home next they're in a bit of crisis they've just sacked their manager tactics Timmy Sherwood and then after that the Arsenal game let's take it one game at a time let's make sure we we do a job on Aston Villa I think the thing that I'm most impressed by by the Spurs team is that we really fight it out like no Premier League game is easy straight away so when it comes to it you go a goal down or it's a tight match we fight it out and then almost consistently in the second half of Premier League games we outrun other teams and our fitness is better and today is a perfect example of that we just passed it around the Olays were coming out and let's not forget, our goal difference season on season is never really that much above kind of naught or plus one. And now we're, I think we're up to maybe plus eight. I might be wrong, I'm not sure, but four more goals in there today. And that stuff counts when it comes to getting up to the, trying to get into the top four, that stuff counts. So a really fantastic performance today. Let's look forward to Aston Villa. It's my birthday on Wednesday. That's the best birthday present I could possibly have got. And, you know, let's look forward to Villa and then Arsenal after that. Anyway, guys, let us know if you agree with what I had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.